Hey everyone, Cody here. Today I want to talk to you about where to buy canvas uh, for painting or for art or whatever it is you do. Today I'm going to talk about where I buy the canvas and the specific brands that I use um, and why I use those um, for the reasons I do. So first, let's talk about uh, so we're going to talk about stretch canvas. So that is canvas that's already on a frame, kind of like this. Um, as far as rolled canvas, I just buy rolled canvas from Blake. So rolled canvas or unstretched canvas, that's the canvas that kind of comes on a roll. Give me a second, I'll show you. That is this bad boy right here. So that is this uh, rolled canvas. Essentially is just canvas that has not been put on a stretcher. Um, so it's flat, right? And it's easier to do some of the scrape paintings that I do, especially large ones, on, uh, on stretch canvas. So I buy it from Blick. I'll put a link in the description. If, our, if there's any links in the description to the places I mentioned, there'll probably be affiliate links, which essentially just means that if you buy something from those sites, then I would get a commission. Um, it's not going to be a lot, but it helps out, keeps the channel going, helps me continue to make art. Now, so that is uh you know, unstretched or unrolled canvas. I buy unrolled canvas almost exclusively from Blick. Okay, so that's very, very straightforward, very simple. Um, I generally buy uh, rolled canvas that's already gessoed or gessoed, however you want to say it. Um, so it already has like the, you know, the finish on it. Um, it is cheaper to buy ungessoed, um, you know, canvas and essentially you could just use cotton duck is what it's called uh, you can get like cotton duck canvas from like michael's or, or joanne fabrics or some kind of fabric store right and you could essentially just use that and then either just it yourself or just put uh, white paint over it or your background color you could just paint directly on it the, the gesso just helps the paint adheres but again that's your choice so i use that now let's talk about uh, stretch canvas. We'll talk about where I get it uh, both online and off and then we'll talk about the brands. So let's talk about the places first. In like in, you know, in physical, like I buy it physical, re uh, physical retailers. I tend to just buy it from two places and that's again going to be Blick because there's a store that's about 45 minutes from here. It's a little bit of a drive but I, I really like their products. Um, so Blick uh, and Michaels. And I've used, you know, I've used some different, you know, brands from the different companies and stuff like that. Uh, but essentially from buying it retail, I tend to only buy Michaels and Blick. And here's the reason why. Blick, I really like their quality and they have a wide range of quality. So they have, you know, student and then professional and then premium. And the professional and premium grade products just tend to really be decent products, whether it's their frames or, you know, the, the acrylic wood squares or the canvas or their paper, like just all of their products from what I've seen tend to be pretty high quality. So I really like them and I just like them as a company and the prices are, are pretty fair. So I would say, you know, I buy whatever I can get out to, you know, to them. Uh, because they're in Tempe for me because I'm in Arizona and if whenever I can get out to them I try to buy a lot of stuff from them at once because it's a little bit of a drive uh, but anyway I buy that from them physically and then uh, you know I have Michaels the craft store here not too far from here a few miles um, and I also buy canvas from them because I can tend to I, I like supporting Michaels just because uh, again they have really good prices and they tend to have sale on canvas almost all the time. I mean, like anywhere from 40 to 70% off. So, you know, a decent sized canvas, you know, generally I'll use like 48 inches by 24 or 48 by 30. And those canvases I can usually get like 50 to 70% off. So, I mean, it drops the price down to like 30 bucks a canvas or 20 something. So, it's a really great deal. So that's why I buy it from Michaels um, physically because it's right down the street. And I hate waiting for Canvas to come in um, through Amazon or online retailers. I just, I'm impatient. That's, you know, it's one of my character flaws. So I tend to buy it, you know, when I can. Plus I have a van, so I could just stuff a bunch in the van and then bring them home and you know, I've got them. So anyway, so those are the two places I buy it, uh, it, like in real life. I've tried Joann's, I've tried Hobby Lobby. Um, I just don't like the the price versus the quality. Just for me, isn't there. Um, they're decent quality, but Joann's doesn't have a lot of selection. Uh, Hobby Lobby, same thing. Their selection just isn't that great as far as 
the you know the wide range of canvases that they offer so I've just kind of always been disappointed when I went there not saying they're bad but I just don't like the quality or the uh, like the <sighs> selection there it is so that's just me and uh, I have used some of the other brands that they offer like the that these stores offer like Windsor Newton Windsor Newton is good it's, it's a good quality product um, but I just think for the price again the canvas only gets so good right where it's like okay yeah you can buy these really expensive canvases and you could charge more for it but if the canvas isn't really offering that much more in you know in the way of what it offers to me it just comes to a point where it's like okay yes you can buy super great amazing canvas and if you can get away with charging thousands for it, great I, I give you kudos but at the same time a lot of people you know as long as the canvas is good good condition they don't really care too much about you know what grade of brand it is and, and stuff like that so honestly it's really about the piece itself than it is the canvas so as long as it's a good condition and you know it's a decent one that's going to hold up that's got some cross braces or you know something like that that is the important part at least for me so and and i've sold paintings now for hundreds you know and nobody's really said anything about the brand because a lot of people who buy art they don't even know better and it's not that you're giving them bad quality it's just that you know trying to charge more for a, a better uh, frame isn't gonna make a lot of sense to a lot of people who buy art anyway at least not to people who aren't like over-the-top collectors but just the average person spending a decent amount on art they don't know anything about the frame so there's no point in overcharging for the frame or just buying expensive frames just for the heck of it unless you can get away from you know if you can get away charging that great hey I wish you all the best but the average person I'm gonna say you know these Michaels canvases are great I've never had a problem with them sometimes they warp a little bit but all brands that I've ever worked with warp so it's not like they're it's just them right so anyway Locally, I, I'll buy from Blick, and I will get Blick's line of products, and then I will buy from Michael's and buy Michael's line of products because both of those I've had really good results with, and I really like them. So Michael's mostly because the price and the availability, Blick because the quality. I just really love their quality. All right, so that's that's physical retailers. So you can buy their stuff online. Um, you can buy from Michael's online, and you can buy from Blick online. Um, so you can get the stuff online and I don't know if Michael ships to people's houses I know they ship to stores so you can have it shipped to a store that's close to you um, Blick I believe will ship to your store or to your house if you buy a certain amount so just keep that in mind so let's talk about online okay so online I, I will buy from Blick um, online sometimes I have before the only thing with them is that they charge uh, like freight fees so that's the only reason I don't like to commonly buy from them online. Um, but it depends on, again, how much you spend and what the weight is of those products. So what I've also bought from is Jerry's Artorama online. But there's, there, it's very niche on what they have. So they have decent prices on the products that they have, but their selection isn't as good as, say, Blick. Um, but I will say the biggest culprit that I buy from or have been buying from more often is Amazon and I I don't hate Amazon or anything I don't want anyone to think that I just they're just so big sometimes I, I like supporting smaller sites but sometimes it's unavoidable they are a, a necessary evil I would say so I, I do buy from Amazon if need be and here's why this particular canvas right here is by a company called Edge now Jerry Jerry's Autorama is the one that sells Edge so I don't know if if it's a Jerry's Artorama brand or if it's just a deal that they have with Edge. But this other big canvas back here is a uh, three foot by six foot. It's the biggest size that I've ever done as far as lengthwise. And that is also Edge. The only problem I have with Edge, and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take this bad boy now. So this is a, this is a Michaels frame, okay? And I really like, again, I really like theirs. Now, Edge for the price is great. They're some of the most cost-effective frames, like a frame or a stretched canvases that I've ever seen. The caveat is this. The, the wood is very light, so it is susceptible to warping. Not only that, 
there is no room for a canvas key in these corners. Um, so it really just kind of, it bevels in and they're stapled and everything. And, and I don't know if the wood is recycled or what, but there's, you can't, you can't tighten the, there's no way to, to tighten the canvas. Unlike uh, this frame right here by Michaels, which has the slots for the tensioning wedges. It's, it's hard for me to show it to you. There it is. You can see, you can see this little, uh, you know, the little inset right there, because that's for canvas keys or canvas wedges or tensioning wedges, torque wedges, whatever you want to call them, right? People just call them different things, mostly canvas keys. And it's for the little wood pieces to tighten the frame and the actual canvas to tighten it out if it sags. Well, those edge canvases do not have them. Even on this large one that is also edge, does not have that. And this canvas is warped. In fact, you can see kind of if I push in, you can you can you can't you may not be able to see it too much, but it is moving because this back corner right here, actually I'll stand out of the way and see if I can. I think you can see the movement. So that's because this back corner is actually sticking out more than the rest of the painting. And it's just sat here pretty much. I mean, it has moved a little bit, so it probably did warp maybe a little bit in the moving. But at the same time, there's no way for me to straighten that out without putting some kind of brace on there or trying to warp the frame back. That's not ideal if you're selling paintings because, I mean, if someone buys it, they don't want a warped painting. Now, again, could happen with any brand. It's just there's no... There's no way to, to, to fix it with canvas keys. So just something to think about. So I'm not speaking against edge because I just bought those those canvases right there. Um, they're 20 by 60. And this, I'm gonna put it up so you can see the, uh, the canvas itself. I mean, the canvas itself is fine. Um, and this, this size, 20 by 60, it's very hard for me to find this specific size with some of these other brands that I like to use. Like Michaels, I've never seen a 20 by 60. I wish they would come up with it. Please, Michaels, if you could see this video, just make some 20 by 60s just for me. I'm not, that's what I'm asking. But, uh, you know, Michaels doesn't make canvases this size, uh, at least not that I've seen. And nor does, um, I haven't seen Blick make 20 by 60s either. And I know it's kind of a specific size, but, I mean, Edge makes them, and Edge is not, it's not, at least to me, it's not like a as wide known brand. So, I mean, I use them because for the cost, I mean, it's a, it's actually a really good price. I think it was $75 for three canvases, which puts them at $25. And there might have been shipping, but it was like $10. So let's say, you know, there's still less than $30 a canvas, which is a good price for this size. So, I mean, for the price, it's great except for if you get into bigger ones and they warp, there's no way to fix that without trying to warp it back or put some kind of brace in there. So that's what I use um, and that's where I get them. Now for, like I said, now a lot of companies will sell through Amazon like Blick um, or Jerry's Art Arava, they'll sell through Amazon. There's other brands obviously that sell on Amazon too. So for buying on Amazon, yes, I do buy on Amazon when I cannot get it. Uh, you know, physically, when I can't just go to the store and pick it up, because I prefer supporting the local businesses as much as possible. But sometimes you can't do that, and sometimes it doesn't work out. So I will buy from Amazon or the website. Uh, so that's pretty much it. That is where I get canvas uh, rolled from Blick, uh, stretched either from Michaels, um, from Blick itself, or online from Amazon. That's pretty much it. Those those are the main places that I buy uh, any of these canvases. So hopefully this video helped you out just kind of figure out, you know, maybe where to go to buy canvas or, you know, if one thing is better than another. One last thing I'll talk about for the canvas is the type of canvas. So there's, there's student grade and then there's usually like professional grade. Sometimes there's three grades, depending on the brand and how they market it. There's like, there's like, introductory, medium, or professional, or student, professional premium, something like that. Generally, you wanna, if you're gonna sell paintings, you're gonna wanna do like premium or professional and up. If you buy student grade anything, generally those things are not as good quality. So uh, if you buy like student grade canvas, generally it's not, it's not guessed as much, or the canvas isn't as great a quality, or the frame isn't as good. 
just something to keep in mind. You can do it, but I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend it for learning and for pieces that you're maybe going to give away or hang around your own house. But as far as selling, I probably wouldn't recommend buying the, you know, either those quarter inch canvases. Those things warp like crazy from what I've seen, especially if it's over like three feet. So three feet and under, you can get away. So a lot of times they don't warp, so they're fine. I just like using one and a half inch canvases to sell um, because it just looks more professional and you know you can paint the sides black and and it just really makes it pop right so I tend to use um, only premium or professional to sell I'll use the smaller thinner canvases or student grade to learn on just because again generally the quality in some way or another is not there or as much as it's not as present as it would be in like a premium or professional uh, grade product so again Totally up to you, but that's just what I would say on that subject. And as far as using the depth, um, I almost always go an inch or more for the depth just because, again, it just looks more professional. It stands out a little more, and it, and it looks more solid. They usually are more solid and, and less prone to warping, at least from what I've seen. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it, uh, you know, it made sense to you and you know, it was helpful in one way or another. Please like, rate, share, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in another video. Take care.